This is Dr. Philip Dryas reporting live on location in homelessness at the beach. That fishing vessel, that blue and white one over there, straight over there, that's, that, that must be a, 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 a bed where fish gather. I've never seen this many fishing vessels out around this channel near the entrance or exit of this bay across from that bridge right there that takes you deeper into Far Rockaway into Long Island and this is where I live at this is my backpack I got my sleeping bag in there I got my toiletries right here and guess what it's hygiene time it's hygiene time and guess where I get my hygiene at? I get my hygiene right here. And this is to you, Dante's Medina and Bally Total Fitness. Here's to you, Priscilla. Here's to you, Mike. And here's to you, Eddie. Uh, I bought a membership. And I needed a place to keep those things right there. Mike offered to rent me out a locker locker room. I pay them about 30 to 40 dollars a month, about 10 bucks a week average. And over the course of a year, 13 months or so, he got over 700 dollars from me. And Derek, who was wrongfully fired as the sales manager, who went through the unemployment board hearing, Valley Total Fitness sent three people over there. And they couldn't say, Jack, and I believe you were there, Mr. Romano. And guess what? Derek got his unemployment. So all the other black guys who got wrongfully fired by Bally Total Fitness under Dante Magina at the Jamaica gym, you guys should go file a claim with Equal Employment Opportunity Commission and with Unemployment Board in order to get your benefits. Okay? Dante Medina can't just come in there and just fire the black people, bring in Hispanics because of the lax labor laws in New York State. But you do have recourse. It takes a long time. It's designed to give the corporation the edge if you don't do your job, which is to fight for it. And all you guys going to fight for it, and going to Equal, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission can get together and file a multi-million dollar lawsuit against Valley Total Fitness. And our law firm, Gary DiLeonardo, 718-544-1478, we'll work with you. We will work with you. All right? But this is about me continuing my hygiene. I got up. I had some nuts and raisins for breakfast. I'm going to brush my teeth, wash my face until I can get to a place where I can take a shower. Probably take a shower every three days, if not a week. I might even have to go to the homeless shelter system just so I can get to a shower without asking nobody for nothing because all my friends have betrayed me. All my friends have left me. So nobody would even let me take a shower in their house. It's almost like I did something wrong. And that's for all the good that I've done, which was to advocate for Mrs. Fronty Green, and you can see that on the site, P-H-I-L-D-R-I-C-E, one the number. It's eight videos. That's seven videos of a one-hour show. And my te old television commercials of a $10 million market research business that was destroyed. That pays me over $600,000 a year. But for the right cause, for the sake of justice, I took on this fight and look at what I accomplished. I was able to expose the fact that <coughs> New York State Santa Huntley was a crook. I got her busted, I got her arrested, and I got her voted out of office. And all I need is for the councilman who, who, who represents uh, uh, Far Rockaway, Councilman Sanders, to give me some credit and to say thank you. I 
called your office, you got a young lady in there with a British accent, tried to play Dr. Dreis like Dr. Dreis was stupid. Okay? I told you I guaranteed you the election. I told you everything would be okay. And then you all tried to snub me. Why? Because I said, I want revenge. I got revenge by getting her busted. I got revenge by getting her put out of, out of office. Now, you black people that are bloodline dumb and stupid who seem to think revenge is some kind of violent thing, you guys are stupid. You can get revenge legally by taking somebody to court and busting their behind, and you can do it nice and easy like that cigarette boat right there. Look at that cigarette right there. Look at that cigarette right there. Bang! That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. And I got a $7.3 million lawsuit in New York State Supreme Court right now. I don't want any parts of that. I'm getting me a cigarette. Because <laughs> I love folks. Look at that wave. Look at them waves right there. This is right about time right now for all you surfers out there to come on out to Far Rockaway Beach and to go ahead and hit these waves. Let's go ahead and hit these waves because these waves are right. These get these waves right out now. And when I was in Hawaii and I was in the Middle East, not the Middle East, I mean in the East, okay, in Southeast Asia, okay, those are about six, eight foot waves. That's not bad. You can surf on that. Now let's go ahead and turn on the water and get our hygiene on. Far Rockaway ain't bad. It's a nice, quiet little mosey town with some very dangerous people that like to shoot guns. That's what district Mr. Sanders is coming from. Going to be state senator. Let's see if you have more power to actually help our Far Rockaway out because there's a problem in Far Rockaway with all this gunplay. Councilman Sanders, what did you do about that? I helped you go ahead and take the Senate seat from New York State Senator Huntley, and I don't see where my reward is. My reward is going to be in the book that I write if you decide not to do some of me, a disabled veteran in homelessness, former Special Forces Army Airborne Ranger who can live out here and make homelessness look stupid. Make out homelessness look absolutely stupid because it's supposed to keep me from doing my activism. And then when YouTube.com got these guys, wonderful, nice people out in India and Pakistan, Bangladesh, and the Philippines, and all these other places that's judging American morality, that don't know about the American whistleblower law and how people should be protected when you actually bring malfeasance and you blast it out to the public, you shouldn't be retaliated against. YouTube.com, you listen to somebody, and it is a legend with Dante Medina and Priscilla Ortiz of the Jamaica Valley's gym, who these guys are just playing crooked. Priscilla Ortiz can't be trying to go get public housing, and you don't tell somebody you got a second illegitimate child, and your boy, your guy is a drug dealer that sells pills, and you're moving into public housing on our tax dollars. You can't do that. Dante Medina, you can't just walk in there and fire all the black people, most of them that is, and then you bring in your family members and their friends, and if anybody tries to do anything about it, you, you go you go to YouTube.com and you create all the stuff and YouTube.com listening to you and I don't get no recourse. There's recourse in the court of law. There's recourse in the court of law. Okay? That's all I'm trying to tell you guys. You guys that don't understand America, that don't understand that everything you do, you got to fight for. You got to fight for it. This is a country that's not a country. This country is a corporation, okay, with the greatest military might on this planet. This country's not a country no more. There's no more real America. Real Americans, they're all dead. They're all dead. Because all those Americans that fought for this country and you guys pulling these stunts out here is a disgrace. And all you guys keeping your mouth shut about your country going down the tube, I'm sorry, I love America, I gotta leave because I can't stay here with you and watch you destroy America. I can't. I can't do it. I'm going to a much better country for my skin color and I'm leaving this corporation behind with your military might that's always at war with somebody. 
you got a place where racism gotten so bad and you got your black president selling you something about give me four more years. What'd you do in the last four? <laughs> but since he put his pretty little woman out there, oh, vote for my husband. Guess what? You just got suckered again and you losing. And you losing bad. Bye bye.